الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد المصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم بمددكم ونظركم سيدي رسول الكريم يا سيدي يا سلطان يا شيخ عبد الله فيزي تابستاني يا شيخ محمد نازم حقاني مولانا شيخ شام كماني شيخ عدنان كماني شيخ محمد عادل نعم دخالك الخوش دواني صاحب زمان سيد محمد المهدي عليه السلام روح الله سيدنا عيسى عليه السلام سيف الله سيدنا عليه السلام ثم سيدنا أبو بكر الصديق سيدنا عمر سيدنا عثمان إمام الحسن عليه السلام إمام الحسين عليه السلام سيداتنا فاطمة عليه السلام وسائر وسادتنا وصديقنا الفاتحة آمين يا رب العالمين إن شاء الله إن شاء الله فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول وقول الأمر منكم Always a reminder for myself أنا عبدك العاجس الضعيف مسكين ظالم الجهد but for the grace of Allah that we still in existence Alhamdulillah that they put out from the Hubble spacecraft that they think the universe, all of the universe may be just one atom. <coughs> so alhamdulillah <laughs> that the immensity of just one atom and the realities of this binary code and that everything exists within a nukht and one dot, one atom and the reason that it can't be perceived and understood is that people think very highly of themselves. When we give ourselves the importance and we focus on ourself and how we relate to the reality, it taints our perception. Because you say, well how can I fit in one atom and how can all of this fit in one atom? And perception is based on many elements that you and I… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh this is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Don't understand our size and it's relevant to our surrounding. Your size in the room that you sit right now is one thing. Your size according to the earth diminished immensely because the vastness of the earth your size became a dot. So it means that when we lose our perception of ourselves and what we perceive we are and who we are and our size and our importance, this is the reality of Hajj that we're supposed to leave that and come to circumambulate to remember the Divine, the Presence. And that we're but electrons in an atom and the Kaaba is the nucleus and which represents the source of power. And everything has to circumambulate the power and all our atoms are circumambulating the nucleus and the power otherwise the hologram of our existence would cease to exist. That our atomic reality exists by that 
your electrons are circumambulating the nucleus. The earth is circumambulating the sun because the sun acts like a nucleus. It's a source of power that it puts out the power and has a magnetic pull and the earth wants to collide but the sun pushes it away so as a result it has a centrifugal spin. So everything is based on that reality but we don't perceive it if we put a self-importance and what we call the I-ness in which everything is about me, I and I want to know about I. And this way of reality is to negate the I and that I'm nothing. And if I cease to exist and put the importance of my existence down, I can see the we or I can see the kingdom of this creation and that's what's important. That when they lose the self and say, I'm nothing, then look at the earth, it's huge. Of course look at the size of this earth, I'm nothing and none of the humans who think they're important are anything either. With all they think they have and all they think they accomplished and all the power and scheming and plots and plans that humans make in life, if you reduce this earth to a dot then the one whom is perceiving when they lose themselves they wonder, why are they doing all of that? On that dot, why do they put that emphasis? Because when you look out that dot becomes so insignificant and all they're trying to accomplish on that dot is worthless. And if they struggle for that reality of the dot then only the one whom loses their I-ness and begins to look through the greater reality can see that. So it's like when you buy a, an ant farm and you see all the ants are just moving around going nowhere. And you can shake the sand and they all have to start again. And all that we're moving on this earth and all the things that people think they own and control and have, that's why these not and these shaykhs and this reality comes to teach that this dot you live on called the earth, all of those whom think they're important and all that they think they acquired is nothing. And if you collectively acquired all of the dots it's still nothing because then they go a little bit further out and the dot of this earth is not even visible in the Milky Way. And then how many billions of galaxies in this universe? And so they sent out ships to explore but they don't perceive where they are relevant to their exploration. But there used to be a show when we were children about how they would shrink themselves into like a little submarine and they went inside the body. Everything was huge inside the body, every cell was huge. When you lose your perception of self and you negate the self and what we call the effacing and the binary system that the world tries to say, you're something. And with your meditation and your contemplation you realize, I'm actually nothing, 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 nothing. Only then can God give you the vision of something. And the vision of that something is that you negated yourself. So you see the whole of this creation and its vastness and you don't realize where you are relative to the whole of that atom. But only Allah when they leave the acquisition of dunya, Allah give them akhirah. When you face yourself into a nothing and Allah begin to send His power because we said it's an energy. If you turn off Allah sends the on, Laylat Qadr. 
not yawm al qadr layl because you have to be in a position of off and then Allah responds with qadr and power comes when they learn to turn off and the power came they realize the vastness of this creation and they're but non-existent in its reality and they saw all of this creation within one dot called Muhammadun Rasulullah And when you enter into that dot it vastly increases in size. So when you enter into the dot the distance between one point to another point can be infinite in its, in its length and space because Allah expands that creation. When they found that in their search of an atom the distance between the nucleus and the electron had the same relative understanding. The vastness between the distance because everything is relevant to its size. So when they found something small and then they begin to examine the small and they guess because they can't, they can't perceive the, the measurement, they say the distance from the nucleus to the electron is so vast and huge because it's like a universe, it is the universe. We haven't really gone anywhere, it's just looping for them. They're just beginning to know themselves by studying the atom. Had they taken the philosophy of knowing yourself, you would know your Lord, you would know what governs you. But they chose, we want to know the outside before we even know our inside. So they make devices that travel through the stars wasting their time. But what the teaching of Prophet was, why don't you study yourself? Arafa nafsahu, arafa rabbahu. And that's why awliya traverse the universe much faster because they took the faster door. You want to build something to explore the outside and all the creation but you don't know relative to who you are and where you are compared to the whole of it. So as much as you explore it, you're still delusional but when you begin to negate yourself and Allah begins to expand the horizon and the vision and what they call marifa, in which they saw all of these creations like a dot and all of it can fit within the hand of their soul. Its vastness is an illusion that as soon as they enter into the creation, the creation is expanding. And if they leave the creation it's but a dot. Allah placed that dot at the ba of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, became the story of creation. This creation story starts with that nuqt, goes to the ba, becomes like the unfolding because that's the reverse of what was taught. The ba begins to open the bab, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem opens like a waterfall down to the seven verses of Surah Fatiha and from Surah Fatiha it like a waterfall gushing into 30 juz and everything within entire universes is within it and its story and its reality. All of this can be understood in the binary system. As much as the dunya tries to make us on, when we meditate and contemplate and acknowledge, Ya Rabbi I'm nothing, I'm nothing and the oceans of your vastness beyond imagination and let me to be nothing, to be nothing, to be nothing and learn the system of how to shut ourselves down 
so that we reach the reality of Layl in which it's not manifesting. And as a result of not manifesting, Laylatul Qadr Allah sends His power oceans in which they become eternally Qadri. They are eternal servants of power. And Allah begin to describe their lives are, are, are like lifetimes what they achieve. And every day, is a lifetime of realities being dressed upon their soul. Salamun hiya hatta mitla al fajr. When people say, Why you say alayhi salam for the holy companions and alayhi salam for the ahli bayt? Because Allah is saying that this is a title that can be achieved. If the shaykh and my shaykh achieved Laylatul Qadr, they annihilated, Allah dressed them. Allah described, Khayru min an alfi shahar, alfi we described in other talks that this is like a, a lifetime of realities coming every fajr, every fajr, every fajr Allah dressing them with these qudras, these energies like a lifetime. Because the system of awf Allah sends their soul through the vastness of that creation so then who to love more than Muhammadun Rasulullah whom is the reality of this reality. They want to particular spot, imagine now how silly their pursuit is. They say, no we don't want the, the great prize and the king of Muhammadun Rasulullah the vastness of everything. We want what's on this little dot cut earth and we want this little dot upon the dot of this earth and this will be our dominion in which we have power and rank. And we call ourselves illuminated and come and we give you a few funny handshakes and you too can share in this dot of a dot of a dot power and all of it becomes epsilon in Allah's creation, not even existent. No power, no might, nothing of any eternity and nothing of any reality. And Allah says, you sold your soul for a small price because you didn't understand the price of the entire kingdom. If the kingdom was worth hundreds of trillions of dollars, you sold yourself for five cents. So it doesn't seem like you made a good deal and this is the vastness of this creation, this is the immensity of the gift because people don't know what they're struggling for, they say, oh we, we, we can pursue all these things and all of these things and all the shaitan is promising to us. So because we don't know the vastness of what Allah has in store for us. And only Allah come with their naat and their teachings that, that Trade all of that in to reach the nukht, reach the understanding that everything exists within that nukht. Its first step is the love and muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad And all that Prophet asks of us is have adab and good character, <coughs> not to have pride in yourself, <clears throat> in your title, in what you perceive to think you know because every knower there's a, another knower on top of that knower. So that Prophet gave to us the doorway, the key for that door of this realities and the city of Muhammadun Rasulullah was futuwa and good character. <clears throat> Fatuwa is Islamic shivul, the way of knighthood in which the knights of Allah the men of noble character. And the tariqs and the paths of reality 
are supposed to sustain that reality because it's the only way to the heart of Prophet is the noble character, the good character, Ittaqullah wa alimukumullah. It's not the books, it's not the memorizing, it's not all of the different things people are trying to do, it's just a good character. And when they have good character and they learn to turn off, they learn to turn off then Allah dresses them from secret of Layl because these are people whom they can shut down. And when they shut down Allah dresses them with Qadr. This is Allah's gift Laylatul Qadr, the two words are linked. And this is the power of nine, Laylatul Qadr is nine letters. <clears throat> these nine letters dress these nine sultans. <clears throat> they carry a dial into the oceans and the realities of mankind. And anyone who enters into their halaqa, Allah dresses them from these realities. So that they can be inheritors of this qadr and this power. So means this is a, a system in which Allah gives to them that you want to learn from the nine then make your life about the reality of nine which we said is the Sultan of Sayyidina Muhammad And that you multiply yourself is your fana by that nine. And that you learn the process of layl, there's a time in which you're on and there's a time in which you're off. How to turn off when a world that completely wants to keep you on at all times. And that becomes the struggle of the path. We pray that Allah open for us the immensity of the realities of the holy month of Shawwal which mashaAllah lot of, lot of knowledges came in this month. If people sit and contemplate, some people come Thursday, Friday, Saturday they take popcorn and become like entertainment. But in reality is that you take your notes and you meditate the whole week so that to absorb yourself in the knowledges of that reality to be dressed by it. Like we said, what comes from the teaching is not the complete course, these are just some of the footnotes that are coming out. But for those who meditate and continue then the balance of the download can begin to take place within their heart and soul. Otherwise everybody would to just cheat by watching the video. The videos are to attract people but the key is in their tafakkur and contemplation. When they look over their notes they meditate and say that, open my heart and expand for me the understanding of this binary system of La ilaha illallah Muhammadan Rasulullah everything that was discussed. If we keep that system then with all of our practices, our charity, our giving, our service, all of those they become the water of our growing like a plant that being planted within the realities of Muhammadun Rasulullah We water our, our seed with the good deeds and good actions, they become the water of rahmah that dresses and makes the fruits of our reality to begin to appear so that others may benefit from that reality. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from its realities and then open for us the holy month of Zilzalah, the holy month of Zulqida which is the reality of eleven and the reality of Surat al-Zalzalah in which the earth will shake and a great shaking to occur 
for the servants of Allah so that what is hidden within them Allah can bring it out. Means the only way to <coughs> achieve the value of a diamond is you've got a crack. So they begin to chip away, chip away, chip away so that the beauty of its reality can show. And Allah describes in Surah the zalzala that what is hidden within her will begin to show of its realities. So just like the womb that conceals the reality from Allah and the continuous quaking within the womb, the earth is in a continuous quaking to reveal what it has hidden within it of whatever characteristics of the people that it no longer wants to carry and as well as the servants whom whatever is within them Allah wants to bring that reality out. We pray that Allah address us and bless us from the immensity of the, this month and the immensity of the month that's opening of Zulqidah of the four holy months of Allah inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Muhammad Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.